The recent approval by the Swedish government to sell the Gripen to the Philippines has made it more reasonable for PAF to pursue a less expensive Gripen for its MRF needs. But like we said, it might not be through a lease, but it's still an actual purchase. Meanwhile, the Marcos administration needed the guts to use unprogrammed funds for the MRF and appoint a real Secretary of National Defense to allow the DND to make far more complex decisions such as signing defense acquisition projects and contracts that the OIC is currently unable to do. Max Defense Philippines received confirmation from numerous sources from the DND and the Philippine Air Force that the DND has resubmitted its request for approval of the multirole fighter acquisition project to President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., still based on the JAS 39C D Gripen proposal and that initial funding would be using unprogrammed funds under General Appropriations Act GAA, for fiscal year 2023 which has more than enough to finance the initial funding required to start the project. If this pushes through, the multirole fighter acquisition project of the Philippine Air Force will become the Philippines' most expensive defense acquisition undertaking in its history, as the project is expected to cost more than PHP 73 billion, which includes the ammunition for the fighters. Max Defense Philippines estimates to be between 12 to 24 additional fighters depending on funding availability, 